Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Russ here from Porker's Corner, the biggest goblin sport. We say the things on here, but nobody dares say. Isn't that right, Coogan? Hey, eh? you liquor. They always stick it to you in the morning, Coogan. You're the first person I think about in the morning when I check on uh, IFL to see what's been going on. The first place of interest, though, so I'll give you respect, but none of you lot, or any, in fact, no, none of you lot ask proper questions. They're all bottleless. Bottleless. I'll give Gully his, I'll give Gully his dues. He asks decent questions, but he loses his arsehole once you get the cement up, don't you, Gully? But I understand where you're coming from, and we've all got bills to pay, but it is what it is. Right. Porkers International is our sister channel. Go there now and subscribe and subscribe and have a look. By order of the Peaky Blinders. <laughs> right. By order of the pork it is. John Chapel from members area, good pal of mine, used to come on here regular until he got a squeaky bum. He's asked me what my top six is in the UK in the heavyweight division. I've been putting it off for ages, but you know what? Driving up here this morning, I've had a good think about how I'm going to work it. And here we go. So get ready, because we're going to get in close. What do you think to my teeth? They're looking good. They're like kitchen sink, aren't they? My advice to all you people out there who've got a problem with my teeth, go and clean yours, all right? Because we must whip Mr. Tooth Decay. Right. The best British heavyweight at the moment, in my opinion... Is Daniel Dubois. He's got a version of the heavyweight title. He's got one belt. Usyk's got five. Right? Five. Including Ring Magazine belt, obviously. And IBO, I, uh, WBO, WBA, WBC. And he's got a Ring Magazine belt, hasn't he? Right, here we go. Here we go. So Dubois in first place for the Brits because he's got a version of the belt. The belt, the title, hasn't he? The IBF. After him, don't forget, he's been knocked about, Dubai, quit against Joyce, and he quit against Usyk. That's the bottom line. I'm not going to be like Gareth A. Davis and say, well, he saved himself for another day, you know, in his posh accent. No, 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 no. Where I'm from, that's quitting. Absolute quitting. Clinton Woods didn't quit against Roy Jones. Dennis Hobson threw the towel in, right? And saved him for another day. Dubois saved himself, Gareth A. Davis, or the gad, as I've named you. There's a difference between quitting and somebody else making you quit. All right? That's why Billy Joe whispered into Ben Davidson's ear, didn't he, when he quit. Yeah, that's what happens. Then you can just play a trainer, can't you? Pop, pop, bang on that one. So Dubois is the best in the UK, in the heavyweight division. Second place. Oh. Fury, you know what I mean? But he's having none of it. See, so, you now he beat Usyk. Come on, he won, four, he, won, he won rounds. Four, five, and six. He didn't win all other rounds. He lost nine rounds to three. And that's what the experts are saying, and me. <laughs> right. In third place, well, this is where it gets even harder. I'm going to say Fabio Wardley, because he's got a British title. Well, why not? Currently holds a British title and he's unbeaten. Even though I thought it's Big Freeze beat him, but they get it a draw and they're going to go at it again next week. In fourth place, Joe Joyce. You have to say Joe Joyce. He's got a win over Zabar and he's mixed it at an higher level. Joe Joyce, in my opinion, Olympic silver medalist as well and should have been gold. So, but is he finished? I mean, his next birthday, he's 40. You know what I mean? Then you've got, in fifth place, I'm going to go for It's Big Freeze, because I thought he were robbed against Wardley, but the record books say it's a draw. So I'm going to go for Fraser Clark in fifth place, but who's his best win? Who? The White Rhino. So Fraser Clark in fifth place, and then who next after that? Anthony Joshua, he's got four losses, he's been knocked about. So, Anthony Joshua in fifth place, one, two, three. No, sixth place, Anthony Joshua. So, let me read them out. Daniel Dubois, 
Tyson Fury, Wardley, it's uh, Joyce, then it's Big Freeze, and Anthony Joshua. They're my top six. And then on the fringes, to get into that top six, I'm not being harsh here, you'd have Moses Atome on reputation alone, but he's beat nobody. And Dylan White, the can man, anybody who wants it can get it as long as they're over 40-year-old with COVID. If you don't believe me, go check record books. He fought Povetkin. That's his best win, Povetkin. And he was just coming off having COVID. So there's an asterisk against every single one of them. Daniel Dubois, he's quit twice. Fury got tonked by John McDermott, got an hometown decision. Wardley, he's got a blemish on record, but he's got a belt. And you've got Joyce, who's got a win over the best one in, in Britain, Dubois. Then you've got It's Big Freeze, who should have had the nod against Wardley. And then Anthony Joshua, who's shot to bits, can't pull the trigger. I mean, I'm just telling the truth here. I mean, what am I supposed to do here? Bullshit me way through. Then we've got drug cheat Dylan White and Moses Atome, who's not beat anybody. It's just reputation. People say, no, he's good, he's good, he's good at gym, he's good in sparring. When's he going to fight for a belt? That's what I want to know. Why don't Dylan White fight him? Why don't they put Atome in with a loser of uh, Clark and Wardley? We want to see if this kid's any good, don't we? We don't just keep want to be hearing about him being this next big thing. If he's supposed to be going to beat Mike Tyson's record, what is all that about? You don't want a belt. So that's where we're at. I know you all miss me spinning in my chair, don't you? Hey? <laughs> well, that's about it. Thanks for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment. And yeah, we're going to get even closer now, boys and girls. Mwah! The big John Fury, big fighting man. What you got security for? What are you with this big fighting man? When I see you, big John Fury, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you a big kiss. Mwah! Go on, peace out. Porky's Corner is proud to be sponsored by Spartan Site Solutions. They are specialists in civil engineering and demolition contracts for the construction industry. Interested parties should visit their website or contact Porky's Corner for a referral at porkycorner at mail.com.